friends today marks the remembrance of good friday on good friday christians traditionally have practiced fasting prayer and devotions and giving alms to the poor it is a somber day yet the joy of the easter resurrection is muted when we do not sit in the ashes and sackcloth of grief at the suffering death and burial of jesus on good friday on this good friday we meditate on jesus final words from his time suffering on the cross as recorded in the gospels <laughs>
let us begin this night's meditation by sharing together the prayer Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Our first meditation from Luke chapter 23, 33 and 34. When they came to the place that is called the skull, they crucified Jesus there with the criminals, one on his right, one on his left. Then Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. On behalf of of the church I lift to God our prayer of confession. Merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart, and we have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are sorry and we humbly repent. Have mercy on us and forgive us. Amen. Luke 23, 43. Jesus replied, Truly I tell you, today you will be with me in paradise. I offer God our prayer of hope. Everlasting God, your mercy endures forever. We pray that your mercy extends to everyone around us, the weak and the strong, the lost and the found, the hungry and the satisfied, the enemy and the beloved. Grant, O oh God, mercy to all sinners, and transform our hearts in this life so as to acquit ourselves in life everlasting. Amen. third meditation. John chapter 19 verses 26 and 27. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple whom he loved standing beside her, he said to his mother, woman, here is your son. Then he said to the disciple, here is your mother. Hear, O God, our prayer for steadfastness. God of heaven and earth, we pray for your eternal grace for the saints who have gone to you before us, and bless us with your mercy and grace. Strengthen our faith in you, that we may be obedient to your loving call, 
May your spirit sustain us, that we grow our faith and nurture faith in family and in neighbors. Amen. Mark 15, 34. At three o'clock, Jesus cried out with a loud voice, Eloi, Eloi, lama, sabachthani. On behalf of the church, I offer our prayer of the disheartened. God of Abraham and Sarah, your promise of the ages that all the families of the earth shall be blessed can feel hollow when we witness strife and trauma, and illness and death. Solidify our faith through your Holy Spirit, and open our eyes to witness your glory, and revive our assurance in you. Amen. John 19, 28. After this, when Jesus knew that all was now finished, he said, I am thirsty. Hear, O God, our prayer of desiring. Wondrous God, you know our needs for this life and the next. Grant us not what we desire for fleeting vanity or cheap worldliness. Instead, God, Grant us the better things that secure us to your everlasting protection. Amen.
John 19, 30. When Jesus had received the wine, he said, It is finished. I offer God our prayer of acceptance. Glorified God, you were nailed to a cross and bore that agony to reconcile us from our sins. You willingly gave yourself over to death, a death you did not deserve for our sakes. Continue your work in us so that we willingly accept the modest cross you asked each of us to bear. Amen. The seventh meditation. Luke 23, 46. Then Jesus, crying with a loud voice, said, Father, into your hands I commit my spirit. On behalf of the church, I lift to God our prayer of obedience. Righteous God, you have proven your love to the works of your creation and shown us that we can trust in you. Help us overcome the burdensome chains we impose on ourselves, chains that hold us back from obeying you. With your abundant grace, convict us to trust and obey your ways. Amen. Beloved, go in peace. For our sakes, Jesus was obedient unto death, even death on a cross. May Jesus the Christ bless you and keep you this night and forever. Amen. <laughs>